the, the theme of this was post penguin. Penguin smanguin. What is that? I think the penguin is probably the, 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 the first indication, a strong indication, of what uh, that Google is actually doing some of their updates manually. I actually think that the penguin update is 80-20. 80% 80 done manually, 20% done algorithmically. The update that I would want you to concentrate and really think about is this one here. This is the first update that Google does for a long time that actually has, it's going to have a massive impact. And we can't see it now, but according to Google, this is the biggest update they've done for 12 years. And I think it's very important that you monitor what's going to be the outcome of this particular update. Enough with the penguins and the, <laughs> and the hummingbirds and stuff. Let's talk about global search engine marketing. And that was really cool when she talked about the people. This is something which we always forget to do. We always forget to think about the people. When we go global, we tend to focus on technology. We tend to focus on Google, Facebook, and all of that. This little model here called POST, People Objective Strategy Technology, should be applied to every market. It was initially created by Forrester for social media, but I actually think it is a wonderful tool to analyze markets. It should be a part of a SWOT analysis. It should be a part of analysis, situation analysis, when you enter into a market. And use that as a part of the method of understanding the market before you go into it. And then having the impact that you should have. The impact that all of these languages will have on our services and the opportunities that they provide is going to be massive. We need to understand the rising stars and play with it as we can and do exactly what, what she talked about earlier, what when she um, said that it takes time, you need to be patient, and you need to just go and go have a steady growth. There's a, there's a lot of generalization happening, and the generalization actually is the biggest mistake of all of us who become international marketers. We generalize. We think that something that is successful in our country will be successful in other, in other countries. So like with the, with the food thing, like naming it based upon the country instead of direct translation is a perfect sample of, of a good strategy. Understanding the local market by realizing that you can translate, yeah, that's fine, but to get any real impact and be competitive enough, you have to understand it. At least to begin with, get somebody who has local understanding, helps you out, and moves you on the way, holds your hand for a while, you might then take over, but make sure that you think about the fundamentals. People, objectives, strategy, technology. Don't choose the technology first. Analyze the market, analyze the people that you're kind of trying to target, and then go from there into the objectives, towards the strategy, and then choose the technology.